just typed in what to do with a big building. Nick Cattell found an idea out of Berlin, Germany. A little coffee house and they went in the back side of the coffee house as a warehouse and they brought in an old vintage camper. Thus was born the idea for an indoor camping motel. And when we originally started it, we were going to have indoor glamour camping. And we had originally five rooms and we had five campers. But there was just one problem. Got a visit from the fire marshal and said we couldn't rent campers out indoors. That idea was scrapped, but one camper was allowed to stay. This one, this one was basically just a piece of furniture. Fire marshal didn't think anything was wrong with this one. Uh, but the kids love it, and we've had adults sleep in the thing. I mean, it'll sleep two adults. Through all this, Cattell discovered glamour camping, or glamping and how many people are drawn to this in various forms. It could be motel rooms that look like a cabin, or cabins that look like a four-star resort, or even a vintage camper. This is just uh, one example of what people do to the insides of their little campers when they glam them up. The outside looks like original equipment, but inside it's whatever they want. With all the comforts of home, Cattell has his themed rooms, including a Harley-themed suite, and another with the end of the trail, Western theme. He's found people will come here from places like California or Ohio for something unique. People that they see us on the internet and they, you know, oh, that's something different. We'd like to try that. The plans are to build a glamping destination on this 11 acre site. We want to use the old vintage campers. We want to use the tents, the teepees, the yurts, the tree houses. We want to have every different form of glamour camping on one location. Near Sheridan, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.